Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Christina. I feel like my head is cropped, but we're just gonna run with it. Today's video, we are gonna style up a summer spring essential. This is a closet staple that you absolutely need in your wardrobe this season. We're gonna talk about oversized button downs and all the ways to style them up in today's video. The oversized button down, it's pretty self-explanatory what it is. It was a piece that was featured in so many different designer runways this season, including Balenciaga, the row, Louis Vuitton, made it in Valentino's runway. It was just so prominent across the different fashion shows this season because it's an awesome piece and it's like a closet staple that there's like just so many ways to style it up and be creative with it, which is what we're gonna do today. If you know me and have been following along for a while, I am the queen of the oversized button down. I don't even know how many I have. A lot, more than I should have. The other thing that's great about this piece is it's a thriftable item. It's so easy to find at the thrift store. You can buy even men's shirts if you wanna go super oversized. Just keep an eye out for like the materials and make sure you're getting like a high quality material when you're looking for this item at the thrift store. I'm gonna mix and match a bunch of different oversized button downs that I have in my closet. Just style them up for you guys a bunch of different ways. It's gonna be fun. Let's start with the most basic way of styling up an oversized button down with a belt. This is a little vintage Gucci belt. It's not really little, it's like one of my all time favorite. Vintage belts of all time. I bought it when I was in Italy, I don't know, two summers back at like a little vintage store in Florence and I just fell in love. It's so good. It's this 90s patent black, the horseshoe buckle. What I did to kind of give it like a sportier vibe, I decided to pair it with some biker shorts because I really love how the oversized button down looks with a biker short. It kind of takes something that's like a little bit dressy and brings it down to like a sportier look. It really plays up that like high low concept that I always talk about, which is taking like a dressier piece and styling it up with a sportier, more casual piece. So that's what I've done here and I really like the effect of it. This button down is a silk button down. It's actually my dad's, so extra special to me and it's just a great basic it's in this beautiful like ivory beige color more of like a minimalist color scheme with this outfit so we've got the black biker shorts i decided to go with these sexy little clear block heel sandals these are from target the biker shorts are from target too they're all in motion i particularly love these because they're a little bit longer i don't love shorts on me i have like a weird complex about them so i like that these go all the way basically all the way down to my knees, almost. Since I have a patent going on with the belt, I decided to do a little patent vintage structured bag. And then on the accessories front, I thought, you know, why not play up the 90s theme with the biker shorts? The Gucci belt is from the 90s, by the way. Madonna wore it, it happened. So I decided to go with the silver hoop earring and then just like a cute little not black headband. I wanted to like fully accessorize this look because it was so kind of minimalist and not as loud as I normally dress, let's be honest. Another way to style it is off the shoulder, which is actually not a way I normally style it. I feel like I need to do this more because it looks so freaking cute. I'm wearing my color blocking. I had to bring out the color after the last outfit, which was like very minimalist for me. I literally just like unbuttoned the top part and pulled it down down the shoulders, nothing super fancy, like very easy to do. It's just such a small tweak that makes a really big difference in terms of how the top looks. I've got this silk oversized top from Urban from like literally 10 years ago, so technically it's vintage. These vintage Tahari mustard pants, love the purple and mustard together. I think it's a really fun combo. Then I decided to go with some little, you know, little tie-dye slides that are also, these are vintage Donald Pliner. And then I have on my Danse Lente bag, I thought it would be cute to, you know, showcase the neckline a bit and add a little statement. Gold chain necklace, which was a thrifted item, believe it or not. Really love this, this way of styling. I've never done it before, but I feel like I need to do it. What do you guys think? I'm all about this. It's good. For this one, I tied it up pretty high, so it was almost like a crop top tied up slash a bralette situation. This is my very summery chain print vintage silk button down. I got this at Juju's Vintage. The colors are just incredible. 
I mean, especially with this bag. And I decided to go with like a little wide leg jean. I went with a little platform sandal. These are from Mukes. You guys have also seen these a million times because I've had them for like five years, no joke. I mentioned my little bag here, which you've also seen a million times, so I don't really need references, but it's my La Mer egg bag. Love how it played up the colors in the top and I love the royal blue and the mustard together. And then for an earring, I went with these vintage clip-on knot earrings. They're just like a great staple earring. Love that they're a stud, but they're oversized because I feel like a necklace would be too much with this top. So these worked out perfectly. Very easy. You can do this with any oversized top and you can pair it with high-waisted pants, low-waisted pants, skirts. The options are endless. This is another common way I wear oversized button downs. I unbutton the bottom buttons to give it like a sexy surprise element, I suppose. This is actually my dad's button down. It's like a nice, because it's men's, it's like nice and crisp and very white and the collar is like stiff. I typically like doing it with a midi skirt. You could do it with Bermuda shorts as well, depending on how long the oversized button down is. Going with a midi or maxi skirt that's fitted is my go-to because I also love the element of like fitted on the bottom, looser on the top to kind of balance out the outfit. Pretty simple here, just did this fun striped, very 90s inspired mini skirt that I got in Greece. And then I did a little strappy sandal. These are Vagabond shoes, also purchased in Europe, but they have them like everywhere. I don't know if they have these specific ones because I did get them a while back. There's some mustard in the skirt, so I thought it'd be fun to do a color color situation with the bag just like adds a little something versus just doing you know black and then for my hair by the way my hair is so long right now i need a haircut desperately i've been like growing it out for the wedding so it like barely fits in this little hair clip but i attempted to clip it it's got this little like butterfly hair clip so i'm like weaving in some 2000s vibes there i did these fun little earrings by at odds super cute local chicago brand they're a little mismatched I thought it was a fun play on the white of the blouse. Another really easy, comfy, effortless, but stylish way to rock this summer staple. This one can be a little bit trickier to pull off just because you need the right kind of shirt and the right kind of bottom so that it looks its best. This is the half tuck. So I've got in my left side tucked in, right side untucked, and I feel like it actually looks okay in the back. That's my biggest concern when I, when I rock it this way is like, What's going on in the back? Does it look messy, sloppy? I feel like it looks okay and it worked with this type of shirt. This is a softer material, so I feel like it's easier to tuck in. It sits a little bit nicer because it's softer, so it's not super structured and there isn't like weird pockets that are sticking out. I would say go with like a softer material button down if you wanna pull off this kind of look and a looser high-waisted pant so that you have room to shove it in there because it is oversized. There's a lot of fabric to be shoving into your pants or skirt or shorts or whatever you wanna wear on the bottom. So I decided to do kind of a looser fit pant so you don't really see the extra material shoved in there. So it worked out. This is a vintage Maison Magella. I, mean, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but that's what it is. It's like kind of sheer, it's like a light silk blend and the pants are vintage. They're like a linen material. These are like one of my favorite pants I own. They're just incredible. And then of course my Paloma Barcelo little slides. They have a cute little straw circular heel. The headscarf is a little vintage find. I love the pop of blue and there's like a little bit of green in there and some cream. I don't want to go crazy on the bag. I just did a little bag at bag. This is a thrifted find. It's Ralph Lauren, little brown leather baguette bag and some simple hoops for just like a cash, summery, comfy look. I love outfits like this that are just like easy breezy, a little looser so when it's super hot outside you're not sweating your ass off and you won't get pit stains. I really like this way of styling up the, the button down. It's not one that I do often and I think it's it's doable, obviously, with the right combination of pieces. Last, but certainly not least, is you can use the oversized button down to layer something on top of it. In this case, I have this cute little crochet vest, which is my mom's from when she was a kid. So you could do a sweater vest, you could do like a leather vest, obviously you could do blazers, other sweaters, etc. but it's not a summery. And I wanted to stick with the summer theme. I'm kind of digging this low rise situation now that low rise pants are in. I have on the same platforms that you saw earlier, my little Danse Lente bag. When you're doing like a vest layering or sweater vest or leather vest 
on top. I would make sure that the shirt isn't too big where it's like clumping up and it's hard to get the, the top layer over it. For this one, I went with like a little bit more of a fitted oversized button down. It's still oversized, it's long, it's got the whole thing, but it doesn't have, it's not as big as some of the other ones that I own, just because I wanted to make sure it looked as clean as possible as I was pulling over this little crochet vest. That's how to layer a sweater vest over an oversized button down. It's just way too hot in Chicago to wear this right now, but on like a cooler summer day, I totally would do it. I hope your brain is like booming with styling ideas for an oversized button down. Comment with your favorite way of styling. Subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and I'll chat with you all in my next video. Love you guys, bye.